Omicron will not be the last variant that you will hear us speaking about. Um, the next variant of concern will be more fit. And what we mean by that is it, it will be more transmissible because it will have to overtake what is currently circulating. The big question is whether or not future variants will be more or less severe. The other thing we expect with variants is that there may be more immune escape, which means our countermeasures, our vaccines will be less effective. We don't wanna be in that situation. So again, we wanna make sure that we reduce the spread. So future scenarios that we think about, we expect that with interventions, if they are used appropriately, we expect there to be low level circulation. But within that low level of circulation, there will be flare ups, there will be outbreaks. And those outbreaks will occur in people who are not well protected, either because they have not been vaccinated, um, because they don't have access, they refuse to be vaccinated because there is vaccine hesitancy, which we are working to address globally, or they have been infected and they may have waning immunity over time. But we may also see a seasonal pattern, as Mike has mentioned. This is a respiratory pathogen. So we expect as we go forward, we will typically see a, a pattern. You know, in the Northern Hemisphere, you see in the winter months, in the Southern Hemisphere, in their winter months. And in the tropics, it's a little bit different. But we do expect there to be some kind of seasonality. Um, but the variants are a wild card. We still don't know everything about this virus. We still don't know everything about the variants and the future trajectory of that. What we do know is what works. Vaccines work. Vaccines prevent people from needing hospitalizations and prevent people from dying. We know that physical distancing works in terms of reducing the spread. We know that wearing of a mask actually prevents spread, reduces the opportunity to spread from one person to another. We know improving ventilation uh, reduces the spread. We know avoiding crowds. That does not mean we shut down society, but what we're looking for is a layered approach and we really need everybody's help.